My cart's the most outrageous. Look out! Of the nine in class, eight actual racers, and six who aren't the CMC, only two of these kids actually participate. Kids, today we're going to learn about physics. You know not what you're doing, Cheerilee. You'll shatter reality if you try to quantify cartoon physics. Cheerilee makes a simple concept for children sound overly complicated in an attempt to confuse her class and make herself sound smarter. She says they'll utilize potential and kinetic energy concepts during the derby, which would be true if this were a downhill soapbox derby, but it's mostly not downhill and we even see them accelerate at times. In fact, we, we never learn how these carts are propelled at all. For a second, I thought we were gonna have to learn stuff. Remember when this show was specifically aired as educational programming and needed a ham-fisted lesson jammed in? <laughs> now it's mocking education. Glimmer Light Star. There'll be a block of apple wood just like this one waiting for you at Sweet Apple Acres tomorrow. This race definitely has conflict of interest with the Apple family. You've got one day to turn it into a race-ready cart. That is an absurdly limited amount of time which would only favor those already close to Sweet Apple Acres and with family and tools to aid in such a task. Spoilers, the top three winners in the end are probably an apple and her best friends after all. You know the rest of the class sighed in disappointment at the reveal of three different awards that just happened to correspond with three main characters in the room. Have you seen what the carts used to look like in the olden days? The carts of the olden days were also magically self-propelled by the looks of it. Somehow the horse-drawn carriages are considered modern technology. Right from the beginning, the CMC get along perfectly in their zero conflict with their desired category, despite each pony being better suited for another. Because there's no natural conflict here, we need to dumb down some other ponies to make one happen. Why would Cloudsdale have a derby anyway? Pegasi can fly far faster and with more agility. Rainbow Dash keeping a trophy hidden away, then throwing it like this is unlike her. The Rainbow Dash we know would have it on display and treat it like her baby. Derby now has a pattern of overshadowing other ponies' blue ribbons. Rarity is the only character with cartoonishly reasonable motivation to build a cart against her sister's wishes, but she keeps mentioning a desire to right a past wrong by being bigger and bolder than Derby's Philly Hood cart. Derby's award had nothing to do with being big and bold, and everything to do with being best pony. Quit complaining! In my day, we were up even earlier. Applejack had to walk to school uphill both ways. Coincidentally, that's the same hill which propels the carts. Nothing as fun as painting racing stripes on the winning cart. Good thing Dash doesn't win then, because she never painted the racing stripes. Are you an apple? Or are you an apple? Seems like just one season ago, Apple Bloom was anxious about what it means to be part of the Apple family, and AJ was there to comfort and nurture her. Applejack here acts more like the nightmare version. At least AJ has the decency to remove her sacred hat before breaking character. What if I just take off this fringe? Stop! That's a load-bearing fringe! Now I've gotta start all over from scratch! Applejack doesn't understand what starting over from scratch means. And who'd wanna redesign something that's already perfect? Hasbro. Rarity's concerned that not winning the race might affect her social standing without considering the very real fact that competing in a children's event may have a greater effect. <laughs> now that's a cart worthy of including a cardboard cutout. Buy our toys. It's okay guys, the chicken jokes are officially endorsed by Scootaloo now. You said it AJ, buck spoilers. The cartoony paint is silly, but this large roller brush fitting into a small bucket is sinny. I'm sure our older sisters know what they're doing. Plot hinges upon three main six members being uncaring dum-dums. The CMC participate instead of sitting it out in protest because the episode would be over far too quickly otherwise. And up, uh, usually the younger ponies drive the carts. Cheerily could and should solve this problem right now, but she knows the main characters have friends in high places who control her school's budget. Rarity and Sweetie Belle have collapsible horns which conveniently fit into their helmets. This top-heavy, unprotected seat looks downright deadly. Thankfully, broadcast standards and practice made sure she has a buckle and a helmet, so it's perfectly safe. Racist Barnes got nothing on Derpy Racers. It's not cheating if you're a main character. Whoever designed the track to be a double figure eight intersection was clearly planning on there being some carnage. And that's not a sin at all. The real sin is that it magically turns into four corners. No pony injured? Wow, it's an absolute miracle that Hasbro let them destroy the swan toy! Now you've ruined it for every pony! No, Sweetie Belle, they ruined it for you three fillies. The crash had nothing to do with them, and everything to do with the track design. Unless, the argument could be made that Rarity alone is responsible for bunching up the pack, but that's probably not what the moral is meant to be. Well, why didn't you say anything? 
The episode attempts to balance the contrived stupidity by suggesting there's a lesson to be learned about speaking up. But the CMC did just that, multiple times. Sweetie Belle's green helmet momentarily glitches into Applebloom's blue helmet. It isn't every year I get to say this twice. Derby racers to the starting line! Derby racers to the starting line! You've said that four times now, Cheerly. Well, so much for requiring an adult in the car. Once the characters figure out what the conflict of the day is, there's no need for safety. Convert potential energy into kinetic energy. So are you an apple or are you an apple? I'm an apple. Derby racers to the starting line!